Welcome back south of Florida, starting off with a check in here. A big picture, upper air moisture, upper air humidity, where you can very clearly see Hurricane Raphael continuing to spin and continuing to track farther away from Florida in the Gulf of Mexico. And subsequently, the dry air that is starting to trickle in across South Florida, which will continue to slide into Florida in the wake of this storm as it works its way farther and farther westward. So that's why we're tracking only chances for a stray shower today and into tomorrow and why we're starting to see our skies clear up quite, quite a bit. It's been a little gloomy the last couple of days, heavier cloud cover the last few days. As we take a live look from Buckingham, you can see some blue skies overhead, a little bit of heavier cloud cover for the San Carlos Park area. This will continue to clear up as we work our way throughout the rest of today all across Southwest Florida. Temperature stepping outside right now in the upper 70s and low 80s for many of us. 77 degrees for Golden Gate right now, 79 for Babcock Ranch, and 80 from Punta Gorda down through Cape Coral and Fort Myers. Also in the upper 70s, or at least in the mid 70s for many parts, have been our dew points uh, consistently throughout this morning. They're fluctuating a bit, but they're keeping us in the high end of the muggy category on the muggy meter. We're keeping up with the humidity at least for the first half of today. That should likely start to ease up through later today, but mainly through at least tomorrow. We'll start to feel some slight relief from the humidity. So just plan on a muggy day for your Friday. Plan on a hot day ahead with highs in the upper 80s. Well above average for this time of year. Typically, we're topping out near 82 degrees at this point in November. I'm tracking highs near 88 degrees for downtown Fort Myers, Cape Coral, near 90 for Punta Gorda, 89 degrees, as well as Arcadia, 87 degrees for Everglades City, and more of the mid and upper 80s for areas like Naples and Marco Island. Future track showing the cloud cover continuing to work its way farther off into the Gulf, breaking apart, but at times still seeing a mix of sun and clouds across the area. Only chances for a spot shower today. You see a future track, a couple of areas of reflectivity popping up, tracking from east to west through the mid to late afternoon, primarily maybe lingering through the evening hours. We're going to be generally quiet though for your Friday. Checking in with Hurricane Raphael, 120 mile per hour category three hurricane moving to the west at nine miles per hour. As we approach tomorrow morning, this is expected to continue slowly weakening back down to category one status before doing a little bit of a loop de loop here and continuing its weakening pattern across the Gulf of Mexico over the coming days. Big picture, we are also tracking a trough here with low end chances of tropical development, but I'll talk about that in more detail and how that plays into the rest of our seven and 10 day forecast coming up in the next half hour. So take a look at your 10 day stray shower today, stray shower tomorrow, and we bring in some better moisture heading into Monday. Scattered storms for Veterans Day. Highs are consistent in the upper 80s until the end of next week. Details on why that is in the next half hour.